boneless chuck roast, the uh, the great the grandma way, the great grandma way. So we'll get our flour ready to season our seasoning our breading. We're gonna bread it real quick. I'm also gonna make gravy with this. Enough for a lot of gravy, a lot of seasoning. Any kind of steak seasoning will work. You know, just dash some on there. We're gonna get our pan ready. We're gonna sear it first. A little olive oil. And a little vegetable oil. Take some steak seasoning and season the meat. Doing good. A little salt. Let's crack some pepper. Get the onions. We're gonna we're gonna sear it on a a bed of onions. Yes, make them thick. Uh, the grease should be getting hot here in a minute. We gotta bread the chuck roast. Some brain. Get it in there real good. Pan's already hot. Lay it right on them onions. I'm making like one and a half because we got a lot of people gonna eat today. Yeah, flour real good. Right on the onions. There we go. I will let that sear three or four minutes on each side. Get your pot ready. Nice pot. Get the lid. And get that ready because we're going to put that in there in a minute. I'm just going to sear real good on each side. All we're doing is searing it, we're not cooking it yet. Sear it real good. Some more onions under here. All right, we're gonna get all this ready. Now, if you brown it real good, we're gonna just stick it in the bottom of the pan. You sear it right there. Now, I'm gonna get these onions out of here. Throw them right in there. Now, now we're gonna make the gravy. You wanna make it? 
We need a lot of gravy. Just a lot of grease, too much grease. A little salt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, German way. Mm -hmm. Until it's covered. Do you want to cover the meat? Put the lid on, we'll bring it up to the boil, then we'll turn it down until it slow boils for about three or four hours. You gotta turn down low on two. Let it boil for about three to four hours, but you'll be able to tell them probably about three hours, three and a half. We'll look at it when it's done. All right, we've got the lid off for about the last 45 minutes to re to thicken up the gravy for your potatoes. I know you're gonna make mashed potatoes with it. Those are really good. So it's, yeah, it's all nice and tender. It's gonna fall apart. Man, it is good too. So we gotta thicken it up off for a half an hour or so. Let it boil and reduce it down.